So we sent our friend Terry Holloman to Granite Curling Club of Seattle for another edition of Terry Tries It. Good luck. Hey, it's Terry Holloman, and I'm back with another episode of Terry Tries It. And today I'm at the Granite Curling Club here in Seattle, and I'm going to try curling for the first time. And really, how hard could it be? I'm here today with Chad Johnson, and he's going to show me how to curl. And so I got a couple of questions before we get started, Chad. Please. First and foremost, what is the objective of curling? The ultimate objective is to get your stones closer to the center of what we refer to as the house, this bullseye looking thing here in the ice, than your opponent's stones. I think I've heard enough for me to get started. You know, I spent a lot of time in my childhood in Canada, so I think I should just get this kind of by osmosis. But... <laughs> I'm gonna sit across from you. You gonna throw the stones at me? You throw, I'm gonna throw some stones at you. And when you release it, you're going to release it at 12. Okay. Okay? Go ahead and send it back. Just release it when it gets to the top. Okay, there we go. Boom, you're a natural. Now, if you do that over a longer sheet, you'll see it start to curl. To curl up. And that's why they call it curling. And one of the things that makes it so fun is it's a game that you don't have to have a full team to come and play. You give yourself a little, little up, and go. We have a huge spike in interest right around the Olympics because, let's face it, we all get to sit and watch the most amazing curling in the world happening during the Olympics. Come on out. Oops. All right. I keep losing my shoe. <laughs> We, hey, you'll get it, you'll get it. So it's great because everybody thinks, oh, I can do that. And then they come out and they try it and they're like, oh, hey, this game's a little harder than it looks. Ready? There it is. There it is. There it is. Oh. Wanna try it with a stone? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> go ahead and let it go. There you go. Let's see how it goes. No, 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 not yet. No, it's all there. It's closed. All there. Yep. 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 Look at your boy. Come on down here, Terry. <laughs> Terry, come on down here. Terry, come look. Come look. Your first throw. Look at this. First throw, put it on the lid. <laughs> <laughs> that's what's up. Hey, that's my, where's my, my sweet face? <laughs> right, no, that's okay, though. We, that gives us room to improve. Exactly. You now, there's been a, a big push recently to increase the diversity in curling. I know there's not a lot of diversity in it. It traditionally hasn't been. What have you seen and what have you guys been doing to increase that? I don't know when to start sweeping. Curling originally started in Scotland and, you know, it's there's not a lot of diverse options for folks to get into curling. And what we've tried to do at the, the national level is just to raise awareness. Got a sweep, Terry? Come on, Terry. You know, it doesn't matter who you are or your ability or, you know, what you look like. We, we want to be inclusive to all. So we're trying different initiatives around LGBT. We're trying to um, create a work, warm and op opening space for BIPOC communities. And, you know, we just want folks to feel welcome and want to be here to curl. That sweeping is to help keep it online for just a little bit longer. Okay. Sometimes that sweeping is to help it curl a little bit more because it's not curling as much as you need it to. Again, the objective to get it to a particular spot on the ice. So this is like super long range shuffleboard with ice and extra people. Yes, and if you ever say that to a curling person and they don't cringe inside. <laughs> <laughs> Scott, how long have you been curling? Um, five years now. I'm a veteran, and uh, we were at a winter clinic, and they actually had the coaches from the Paralympic team there. One of the coaches asked me when I was as I was curling what club I belonged to because I was doing really well. When they approached you about curling, like, did you think, you know, I'm in a wheelchair? How do I do curling? 
Yeah, at first, yeah. I was, it's, there's, cause you got the sweeping and all that. So in your opinion, what is the biggest thing you get out of being out here? The biggest thing, you know what, is the fellowship. This is a great club. Uh, I don't know if you notice how we talk and how we act together. And if you can imagine, you know, every lane full and uh, you know every sheet's full with people and we're always talking. You know, I, I built some great friendships here. All right, we had an incredible day here curling at Granite Curling Club here in Seattle. I want to thank my friend Chad Johnson for teaching me how to do this. This was so much fun, man. A lot of exercise, a lot of skill involved, a lot harder than I thought, but I think everybody out there should come try curling at least once and come here to Granite in Seattle. Oh, mm, Terry good did story. so good. How about Terry on his first walk? I mean, for, I'm not surprised. The man is, is pretty talented. And, and by the way, that club, uh, very humble, they've won more U.S. national championships than any other club. Wow. So uh, they're very humble, but I think that one person said when they said fellowship is, is why that sport is so great. It, mm -hmm. it is so true. It's great people at the Granite Curling Club. I love it because you spent time there. Yeah. Oh, that's so cool.